the I can pronounce the name. Okay, here we go. Good evening. The Bronzeville Independent School District welcomes you to tonight's EYL 5A by district soccer match between the Lady Sabre Cats of Edinburgh Vela High School and your Lady Chargers of Veterans Memorial Early College High School. This game is being conducted according to the rules and regulations of the University Intercolastic League. Regardless of the outcome of tonight's game, all of the players have proven their willingness and work to work and sacrifice in order to achieve athletic excellence. We ask that as a, as a spectator, you consider the time and effort each of these teams, coaches, and athletes have put forth. Cheer these young athletes, applaud them, but do not, through any of your actions, cause them to doubt the value of athletics. By your conduct, allow these young ladies to feel pride in their communities and school. While your sportsmanlike actions may play only a small part in the outcome of this game, it will play a greater role in continuing to encourage competitive athletics. Here are the lineups for tonight's game. For the visiting Lady Sabre Cats, number, number 01, 10th grader, Carissa Rodriguez. Tenth grader, number one, Julissa Rivera. Number two, Bianca Cardenas. Number four, eleventh grader, Alma Gutierrez. Number five, senior, Samantha Cortez. Number six, tenth grader, Natalie De Leon. Number seven, 11th grader, Alessandra Santibanez. Number eight, 10th grader, Brisa Cortez. Number nine, senior, Miranda Mena. Number 10, 10th grader, Sofia Garza. Number 11, 11th grader, Victoria Cardenas. Number 12, ninth grade, Anastasia Cuellar. Number 13, ninth grader, Aleska Cardenas. Number 14, ninth grade, Leandra Garza. Number 15, 10th grader, Valerie Herrera. Number 16, senior, Mia Palomo. Number 17, 11th grader, Eva Monti. Number 18, 11th grader, Erin Russell. Number 19, 10th grader, Valerie Hernandez. Number 23, senior, Megan Leal. Manager, Adalia Munoz. Principal, Michelle Peña. Head coach, Amarico Cortez. Assistant coaches, Teran Hernandez and Ray Denise, Mo Denise Morales. Athletic trainers, Megan. Athletic, athletic coordinator, Lori Sarate. And now for your Lady Chargers. Number one, senior, Lydia Ortiz. Number two, junior, Brianna Breckhan. Number four, junior, Camila Ibarra. Number five, sophomore, Alondra Ventura. Number six, senior, Marisol Perez. Number eight, sophomore, Mia Gomez. Your captain, number nine, senior, Angela Garcia. Number 10, sophomore, Jennifer Gomez. Number 11, freshman, Natalia Charles. Number 12, sophomore, Brianna Garza. Number 13, sophomore, Daisy Lara. Number 14, freshman, Samantha Reina. Number 15, junior, Amanda Rafidi. 
Number 16, sophomore, Natalie Villarreal. Number 17, senior, Valeria Prieto. Number 18, junior, Dana Prado. Number 19, junior, Sabina Moran. Number 22, junior, Candy Rafiri. Number 24, senior, Natalia Morales. Number 25, junior, Marian Garcia. Team manager, Dylan Mendez. Head coach, Raul Vasquez. Assistant coaches, Cynthia Valdez, Juan Huerta, and Alejandro Vargas. Athletic trainer, Tushar Patel. School principal, Norma J. Canales. Athletic coordinator, JC Ramirez. VISD athletic director, Gilbert Leal. Thank you, and go Chargers! Sure, for sure for that one to hear. Seed Fat Trends Memorial Lady Chargers, and this should be a phenomenal match this evening as well. Both teams deserving to be there, to be here in this match. But of course, the coin toss going to Brownsville Veterans Memorial. That's the reason why they got to host this evening here, and it should be a fun one. Interesting, of course, to note this evening, the wind is a factor. It was not a factor last night in Brownsville. Uh, Rivera, where I was la last evening to cover that match. But, of course, tonight, completely a different scenario in the sense of, well, if you have the wind to your backs, normally, sometimes, it can be a difference. But with that comes... Are you able to control the possession even with the wind to your backs or control the possession with the wind to your faces? And that's always going to be a key thing. 16 mile per hour wind gusts throughout the day topped out at 18 miles per hour. And so that can really affect the pace of a soccer ball at any given time. Once again, moments away from kickoff here. Kickoff scheduled for 7 p.m. And it's about 7 to 10 p.m. So this should be very very much exciting we have multiple games throughout the whole entire valley from brownsville vets lady soccer of course being here to brownsville veterans memorial boys soccer being up in sherryland as they take on the sherryland high school rattlers over there so that's just a couple of games to note including lopez over in the upper valley as well girls soccer playing against McCallan Memorial Lady Mustangs and so of course just like I said that just to name a few matches as moments away from kickoff refer main referee still at center field or at midfield to be exact 
and a sideline judge. One sideline judge at his station, the other sideline judge still near midfield. So we're just waiting on that kickoff moments away. Sabercats were able to get that three seed in district, comparing that McAllen High School ended up winning, or McAllen High School ended up finishing second in the district, and then winning the district was McAllen Memorial. And that, of course, is one of the most difficult districts to play in in girls' soccer in the RGV. A referee looks to both sides, sets his watch. leave talking to his crew here very quickly so we're just waiting on the referee once again to get this game kicked off to start the by district playoffs referee blows the whistle game on here from Brownsville Veterans Memorial Edinburgh Vela in their white tops and Brownsville Veterans Memorial in the dark blue and red. And Bergfella deciding to kick it all the way back, controlling possession as best as possible. It's off that right wing for a second, kicked out of play, will be a Sabercat throw. Going taking quickly off the right touch line, headed back out of play for another Sabercat throw quickly. Moving up the field as fast as possible. Able to get in so close to the final third. Out of play, it goes right near the right corner flag. Cohen taken inside the box. No one able to be there and cleared back away. Past the final third for the time being. And Rick Vela still able to get possession. Controlled now by Santivar. Bonus. Cross inside the box. Keeper on her mark to make the save. And I think that's what we're going to see a lot of in this first half is a lot of possession from Edinburgh Vela considering well, where the wind is blowing towards. You see, he couldn't even get near midfield there for a second. Sabercats able to get possession back. Bianca Cardenas trying to get it forward once again. Playing it off near the left wing. Controlled now by Quella. Playing it up forward once again. Back it goes, Santivanas. Able to get it on the right wing was Cardenas before passing it. Trying to get it inside the box, should not control it was Gutierrez. The Chargers able to just clear it away from being a corner kick. Again, another throw goes out of play and this time it will be a corner trying to get there was Eva Mont Monty but instead it will be a corner kick off that right corner flag for the Sabercats set piece opportunity and the first corner kick conceded by either side goes out to Brownsville Veterans Memorial takes a couple steps back Santivanas Gets it inside the box. No one was able to get there. And counterattack opportunity now for the Chargers. Has help off the right wing. And could not get it there. And it's going to be turned over. Intercepted. And that one will go out of play. Throw in now off the left touch line for Edinburgh Fella. Do the same thing, trying to build up on the attack. Through ball just a bit too much. And again, we're starting to see how much the wind will affect either side in this match here this evening. Ends up going out of play. Fans wanted a handball, but instead it went out of play. So it will be a throw in for Brownsville Veterans Memorial anyway. Referee says play on. Controlled now by Cardenas. 
actually pass that one off by Monty. They're trying to get that one forward again. Trying to take a shot. And that one goes wide left of the post. Out of play, it will go for a goal kick. So far, it's been all Edinburgh Vela. Once again, just like I mentioned, the wind will be a major factor. Possession taken back near midfield. Now the Chargers with it, a good through ball intercepted though. Bianca Cardenas was on the back end of it. Monty able to get it to the left wing. Has help up front. Cleared away by the Lady Chargers. Tried for a long ball near the right touch line. That one will roll out of play. Out of play it goes, will be a throw. Sabercats already having a shot here this evening, but shot was off target. Lady Chargers have not been able to build up on the attack to get one just yet. Through ball played for it. Again, off the left wing. Quellar trying to control it, but it does go on to play for another saber cap throw. Here's his possession. Counterattack opportunity again for the Lady Chargers. Has to beat a defender and does, but the last touch just a bit too heavy. Back by Monty. For Resane, play on. Played a nice through ball once again. Sends it forward. And cleared back away, just not past midfield. And that will be controlled by Sabercast. Carded this for a second. And now Edinburgh Vela bringing it back. Decided not to play it back to the keeper. Just get it near the left wing. Take it away. Lady charges with an opportunity. Trying to beat the last defender. Could not in the end. Megan Leal was on the end of it. Long through ball. Missed though. That will go out of play. For a Lady Charger throw. Play that will go once again for another Charger throw. Cardenas will play it all the way back to the keeper now. Long ball near midfield. Their back pass controlled. Near the left wing, through ball just a bit too far, cleared away, out of play, passing that left touch line for another Sabercat throw. Referee did not like the throw, and we'll go back the other way now. Brownsville Veterans Memorial trying to potentially, at, at least in this first half, Keeping it to potentially only giving up about one goal. Considering it's almost inevitable with this type of wind happening. Set piece opportunity, but with again the wind to her back could, could potentially be a shot on target. Decides to do exactly that. The keeper on her mark for the save. Taken back once again. Lady Charger, Chargers could not do anything with that one. Does go out and play for 
Brownsville Veterans Memorial throw. Still nil nil your score. About nine minutes played here in this first half. How to play it goes. Throw and quickly take it. Played back once again. Now by Cardenas, who gets it back off the right wing. Toe poked away for another throw. And that will be another throw. Cardenas with the throw and once again near that right wing. Sent in the air, goes out of play. Antivanez. Trying to create space near the right corner flag, cleared away. Possession was won by the Lady Chargers for a split second. And it will be a foul called free kick for the Lady Chargers. Lady Chargers right there were able to avoid basically having to clear out of their final third multiple times. But again, the Sabercats back with possession once more. Taken back away. Sends a long ball. Play it quickly and taken back away. Sent the through ball, decides to take the shot. Keeper on our mark makes a save. <laughs> Near midfield, toe poked away for another throw in. Santivanes, whose throw in was almost taken away. Get it inside the box. Played nicely. First touch was just a bit too far. Save made. A good opportunity there by the Lady Sabercats to get their first goal, but could not control it as best as they would have liked there. This could create a counterattack. Good through ball off the back heel. Picks back up. Picked back up. It was offside just by a shoulder. by the minimalist of inches. Considering how close that was from being onside, but I could see myself just ahead of the play. Offside is a call free kick for Edinburgh Vela. Sabercats breaking out once again. Has help off the left wing. Cuts it back in the middle of the field. Still with it, has help off the right side. Decides to go for goal, and what a diving save. Cross inside the box again. Second opportunity. Off the crossbar goes, and just wide left of the goal.
Edinburgh Vela inching closer and closer to getting that first goal here so far. But again, still nil nil your score. Kind of 26 minutes left to play in this first half. Blocked again. Fifty fifty ball, says the referee. Play the through ball. Off near the right wing. Trying to get there for the cross. Instead, that will go out of play, and it's going to be a corner. Just tipped out for a corner kick. Conceded by the Lady Chargers. Raises her right hand, decides to play it short. Cross back inside the box, deflected out for another Edinburgh Vela throw. It's out of play for another, another throw this time. Vela have been able to control all the possession possible, but just have not been able to find the back of the net just yet. Just inside the box again, played back. Keep it forward. Still loose inside the box. Takes a strike, and it's going to go wide. Another goal kick. Four Brownsville veterans. And Bert Vella retake possession once again. Trying to get that one forward was Cardenas. It was deflected out of play. They're throwing once again, tries to get it inside the box. Headed back, trying to get it out of the final. Third first touch was a bit too much. Keeper had to come off her line. We'll clear it away. Counter attack opportunity now for the Lady Chargers. Counter attack stopped very quickly as I said that. play once again. Throw and taken. Sit inside the box, headed back away. Out for a throw. Counter-attack opportunity has help off the right wing. Gets past her defender. Good through ball. Set it back up, tried for the pass.
Referee still saying play on. And now taken back away. Try to send the through ball forward. Said that will go out of play for another Lady Charger throw. It's taken back away. Like I mentioned before, this first half is going to be a challenge for Brownsville Veterans Memorial. Playing against the wind is one of the toughest things as a soccer player you can play against with that type of element trying to get it forward as well it's cleared back away edinburgh vela able to have possession trying to play it forward for a second was monty playing it out wide right cross inside the box header forward goes wide and it is out for a goal kick Vela went 14 and 4 in district this year, 16 and 7 overall. Considering an impressive 14 wins and four losses, of course, in a very difficult district. As for Brownsville Veterans Memorial being able to be behind a very difficult Harland in South, as hopefully we'll be able to update you all with some scores at halftime. Are we back to the action in front? 50-50 ball, say, says the referee. Once again, cross inside the box. Able to set it back up. Could not get the turn that she wanted to. And great defense from Brownsville Veterans Memorial to keep it. Nil-nil. So it will be a goal kick. About 18 minutes still left to play here in this first half. 18 minutes, 30 seconds. Still nil know your score. Session has been all Edinburgh Vela, but again, have not been able to get that goal. Which one counterattack could potentially be the difference maker for Brownsville Vets. Play that one forward was Cardenas. Foul will be called. And it will be a free kick for Brownsville Veterans Memorial. Sends it forward. stay on side doesn't have any help up front and the keeper is able to come forward to corral that one how to play it'll go past that left touch line now it will be a throw in on the right touch line for edinburgh fella throw and quickly take it Cats with the throw. Trolled quickly by Gutierrez for a split second. Taken away by the Lady Chargers. Blocked. That will go out of play for a goal kick. So good defense there by the Lady Chargers once again to make Edinburgh Vela concede for that goal kick. Quickly sent away and it will go out of play. 
possession back with Hamburg Vela. That one taken. And that will be a free kick. Referee called the foul, and the lady charges decided to play quickly. Keeps it in play, but it's back out of the final third. Sabercats with an opportunity to possibly with to have a counterattack. That left wing. Sabercats able to regroup. Pulled again by Cardenas. Back he goes to Garza. Off that left wing now. Played back a good service inside the box. Header is good, just over. Over the crossbar it went. We'll say nil nil, 14 minutes, 30 seconds. Play it will go another throw in for the Lady Chargers. Able yeah, to get a good through ball forward, cross. Goes over the goal. Stays nil nil, your score. Lady Chargers decided to bring it out quickly. Long ball forward, taken back away. That will be a foul called. Referee will stop the time. And it will be our first booking of the match. I believe that was two. So Natalie Adelion with the booking. Try to play the rest of the match as cautiously as can be. Referee resumes play. And a good free kick there, sent it forward. Headed back to the keeper. Trying to clear it away. Forward with the through ball. Deflected. The Sabercats will play it back. Try to get it off near the right wing, too far out of play for a throw.
trying to send it forward. The Lady Chargers letting it go out of play. Crossing that touchline again for another throw. To about 11 minutes left to play here in this first half. Still nil-nil your score. This will be very impressive. If the Lady Chargers are able to get to halftime. Tied with Edinburgh Vela. That will be a throw. Near the right corner flag. Throws it in inside the box. Headed back out of the final third for the time being, but it will be a corner kick conceded. Set piece opportunity. I believe it's going to be Garza. We'll take this set piece. Up her left hand, sends it into the box. Everyone misses it still. Cleared away in the final third. Throws it in. Headed back out for another throw. it back had it out of play for another corner kick
less than six minutes left to play here in the first half. It will be another yellow. Second booking of the evening to Edinburgh Vela. Sophia Garza. Seeing the second one for Edinburgh Vela to be on a yellow card before halftime. Says a lot here how aggressive Edinburgh Vela want to be in this match to try to get a goal especially knowing that they're with the wind in that sense but just have not been able to cash in for a goal still no no your score referee blows the whistle to resume play off of this free kick Taken back away. Here comes Edinburgh Villa. Near midfield. Playing it off near the left wing. But once again, a reminder, two yellow cards issued to the Lady Sabercats in that first. And the uh, so two yellow cards issued out to Edinburgh Vela here in this first half, which is just a big thing in the sense for this second half. So we have three minutes left to play here in this first. Trying to get it forward. Cross, no one ended up being there. Played all the way back. The ball near the left wing. Has possession, have to, has to play it back. Still with it. First touch just a bit too much. Taken away. Counterattack opportunity. So one defender behind her. Advantage will still be played. Referee will let it play on. It's a good through ball off the left wing. And that's going to be a foul. Referee will stop play. Possibly was the last defender, and she will just get a talking to. That's going to be the difference. 
set piece opportunity. Brownsville Veterans Memorial with their first real opportunity of this first half. Sets it up. Sends it away inside the box. It's going to bounce in! And it's in! One goal to nil right before halftime. Brownsville Veterans Memorial. Take the lead off of a free kick. Keeper couldn't find where it was. And it bounces in. One goal to nil, your score. And it was Garcia with the goal. Angela Garcia to be exact, one goal to nil. Taking the free kick and putting it in the back of the net. Was able to bounce just exactly how they drew it up in the end. One goal to nil, and this really changes everything, especially for the second half. Less than a minute to play, now 50 seconds to be exact. That will go out of play. Throw in four. Brownsville Veterans Memorial. But that will, might end this first half as Brownsville Veterans Memorial might not necessarily have any urgency to really throw it in. They switch it three times down to 20 seconds now. And that will go out of play. That will most likely end this first half. Out of play it will go. And the Lady Sabercats will end it with that throw in. First half is up. 1-0 your score. Brownsville Veterans Memorial score at just about the death of the first half. Once again, your goal score. None other than Angela Garcia. 40 minutes down. 40 minutes to go here in regulation. One goal to nil your score. As Brownsville Veterans Memorial lead, 1-0. We'll take a break for halftime, but we'll be back for the second half.
Back we go here for the second half of action. Moments away from this second half. In a colder evening that kind of expected should be a fun second half. Once again, I'm Jake Young. This is by District Playoff Soccer here on BISC TV's YouTube page. And well, it's going to be a fun second half. Emberg fella find themselves down by one goal. A late goal in the first half to beat your difference maker. And once again, scored by Angela Garcia for Brownsville Veterans Memorial. That's your difference maker. Referee blows the whistle back on here for the second half in Brownsville Veterans Memorial. Stadium lights are officially on now as it is nighttime and the wind has died down just a bit, but it's still as cold as you'd expect it to be. Bergvella down by a goal. We'll see if they can get a goal on the opposite side of the field. 50-50 ball. Still will be a throw in for Edinburgh Villa. Trying to get it inside the box and able to do so. And it will be the lead referee set a corner. And yes, indeed, that's what it will be set piece opportunity for Edinburgh Villa. That's what we saw in the first half was a lot of opportunity from Edinburgh Vela. We'll get back to it in a second as that one will go wide. Left of the goal for a goal kick. We saw a lot of opportunity from the Lady Sabercats, but they could not cash it in for a goal. And all of a sudden, just as you kind of expect with that, the way that soccer normally goes, one team can have all the chances, but all it takes is one mistake from them. And sure enough, it is one goal to nil. Brownsville Veterans Memorial. Throwing for the Lady Sabercats, though, off the left. Left touch line. Again, the Lady Chargers are the higher seed as they are the two seed and the one seed, or the three seed, I should say, being Edinburgh Vela. We talked a little bit about them before. We'll talk a little bit more about Brownsville Veterans Memorial girls soccer here in a second. Long strike save made by the keeper. Second try couldn't get on the end of it. Well, Lady Sabercats will have to reset. First touch was too much. Decides to go for goal. And another save as the keeper on her mark again. Keeps it one goal to nil. Kind of getting back to it. Brownsville Veterans Memorial 24 and one overall, 15 and three in district play like we talked about finishing second. That will be a foul called as it was a push on the ground. That one away inside the box. It was loud there for a second, but back with it. And Bergfella with an opportunity trying to get it back with Squillard, trying to get it forward, and that's going to be wide left of the goal. Will be a goal kick once again for the Lady Chargers. A lead one goal to nil. 36 minutes left to play here in this one. So still plenty of time for either side. Potentially get the equalizing goal or all that insurance goal. Breaks free down the right wing near the right touch line. Crosses back. Back for a cross, not enough pace on that one. This goes out for a corner. Instead, it will go out for a Lady Sabercat throw. But again, the switch of the field 
can really make a difference. Referee says play on. And in some certain scenarios, some certain cases, a player, the ball could hit a player's hand, but if the player is, player's hand is in a natural position, then it is not a handball because, well, it just hit their hand, the side of their body, even though their hand was down near their side. Cross inside the box. And now the referee will stop play. And also this scenario, the referee does not have to stop play until the opposing team with the advantage decides to kick it away. Still one goal to nil, 35 minutes, 14 seconds left to play here in this second half. Getting your difference right now, and Hela Garcia with the goal. That is where we stand here. Just about back to the action will go. Referee will start off with a drop ball. And it will be with Brownsville Veterans Memorial. What we might potentially see here as if it was correct, the Brownsville Veterans Memorial will give the possession back. There we go. That will go out of play. Can back away. Near the right wing. Saber Cats have multiple players for help there. They get it forward, defend it away. there by Garza. Long through ball off the right wing, or the right side, taken care of by the keeper. Through ball just a bit too much there. Decides to go for goal, and that's just wide left of the post. Still one goal to nil. Your score. Substitutions about to happen for Council Veterans Memorial. We go with about 33 minutes, a little less than 33 minutes left to play here in this second half. One goal to nil, still your score. Brownsville Veterans Memorial lead. But will that one goal be enough or will they have to get another one? We 
we can see here. Edinburgh Vela have had mo most of the possession in this second half. Like I mentioned before, that was the case in the first half, and Brownsville Vets were able to get the go-ahead goal and end up end up winning, or well, end up getting that goal in the first half. Played back. Be sent forward off a long ball. Taken back away. There's Feichel are there for a second. Still with it. Takes a strike. And it looks like it's a save. Saved by the keeper. Check that. Referee said that the keeper did not save it. It will be out for a goal kick. Played back again. Fly card. Back there for a second by Quillard, trying to get it forward. Still with it. Garza. Back with it was Quillard, and all the way back it goes. We'll go out of play. Forward by Cardinals. Controlled by Monty for a second there. Through ball forward, gets space. Inside the final third, takes a strike just over the goalie post. Shot off target in the end. Good cross inside the box. Couldn't spin it back around. It looks like it's possibly a handball. Referee points to the spot. And it is a PK. Handball inside the box. And it's going to be Eva Monty to take the PK. about 38 minutes 55 seconds referee blows a whistle bottom left corner back of the net all tied up at one goal Eva Monty buries a PK Bottom left corner, keeper could not get there in time. And all of a sudden, it's back to a game. Less than half an hour to play. 28 minutes, 47 seconds to play. One goal apiece. Referee blows the whistle. Back underway we go. Both teams will definitely have some urgency to get the go-ahead goal now in this second half. And the times that I've been able to cover Edinburgh Vela this season, they've really been able to turn on the Jets, turn, turn it on in that second half. That one goes wide. 
But talking about a lot of times where it was nil-nil, they did look like the better team but could not get that goal in the first half. And all of a sudden get in it. Of course, this is a different story with it being wall of PK goal. Still one goal apiece. Like a couple of people said out in the stands, like it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Taking quickly near the left wing. Attack possibility that's going to be stopped quickly. And Brooke Vela really liking to play kind of that ticky tack style where give and go basically constantly. That's going to be a foul called, and it will be a free kick. That will go back to the keeper. One goal apiece. What can Edinburgh Vela do here? out of play will be a throw in for Edinburgh Vela. Plays it back. Here come the Lady Sabercats trying to build off on the attack. Pass midfield. Gets a nice through ball down the left wing. Does she have enough time before it crosses the touchline? No. says play off. Long ball forward. Tripped up advantage play. Sends a through ball down the left wing. Too far. And Brookville will watch it roll out of play for another throw. Still one goal apiece here. Getting down to 25 minutes and about 25 seconds. And a good through ball. Had to toe poke it away, could not get it in the end. And cleared away out of danger by Edinburgh Vell. Still be a throw in for Brownsville Veterans Memorial. Been a different second half for them so far early on. But again, almost halfway through this second half. Controlled by Quillar. Passing that one off. Another through ball. Not enough that time from Monty. That one goes out of play. Will be another throw in though. <laughs> Past couple of years as well, 31 5A have ended up sweeping 32 5A in the playoffs in the first round. Where every single team, every four seed, all four seeds have ended up beating all four seeds of 32 5A. Could this be a different year? One match to update you all on the score. That affects by district playoffs. Brownsville Porter find themselves down 9-0 on the girls' side. Shot taken. Save made by the keeper. 
Back to the action in front here. Takes it back away. Has help off the right wing, decides to take it herself. Lays it out. Near the right corner flag, able to get it inside for a corner. Corner kick conceded by Crownsville Veterans Memorial. up her right hand sends it inside the box a good ball header just wide will roll the opposite end passing the touchline goes out for now a throw by the lady chargers so coming into the game now alondra ventura around Trying to get it inside the box potential handball no is not going to be the case the referee did say play on the lady Sabercats wanted that to be a handball referee said it was not we play on. Trying to cross it inside the box. And back away by the Lady Chargers. Which side will be able to break this deadlock here? 21 minutes left to play officially in this second half. Last game that we covered here on VISC TV was Brown the Browns or Rivera boys soccer game last night where it ended two to one as a late goal was the difference maker as by Edinburgh economies will we see this same thing from either side we played back to the keeper in a dangerous area able to just clear it away off the left touch line Lady Sabercats able to get away from that pressure. Will break out now. Controlled for a second by Monty. He's trying to play it out wide right. In intercepted that time. Off that left touch line. Long touch goes out of play. We'll go back to Edinburgh Velt. They take that throw in quickly. Cross it close to the box. Plays a nice through ball. First touch. Gets her out wide left of the box. Has to play it back. Has to play it short. Being told to shoot. Save made by the keeper. Sends it back away. So let's... Then 20 minutes to play here in this second half. Keeper back with it, making the save. And again, it's just one of those situations where some teams aren't necessarily used to playing with the wind. Well, some through balls, just a little bit too much power in the end. But that's going to be taken back away. Given up near midfield and another through ball. Keeper on her mark to just send that one away. Near midfield this time. Lady Chargers able to get the possession back though. 
Still running with it. Referee will play on. Turn back around. Monty there for a second was with it. We played that one out wide, right? Trying to get that one forward. Sedenberg Vela. Back and forth it goes. These Sabercats now kind of having space, slowing the tempo down just a bit. Lady Chargers see that as a great opportunity to try and push forward to press. Potentially getting a turnover there, but instead just cleared away. 17 minutes, 30 seconds left to play here in this second half. Still one goal apiece. Controlled this time by Monty again, playing a through ball. Doesn't have the space she necessarily wanted to. Trying to get it inside the box. The turn off the post. It goes. How about a second try? Save. Fans wanting the team to push up. As best as possible to try to press off this counter attack. Taken away though. Lady Sabre Cats will break out for a potential counter of their own. Spins back around. Deflected by, I believe, to two teammates. Scarza. Runs out of real estate, goes out of play. Well defended by Lady Chargers. Once again, a Brownsville Veterans Memorial. Referee says play on. Garza was back with it, playing it forward. And now the referee will stop play. Down to about 15.53 left to play here in this second half. Back and forth game, a little bit more opportunities once again from Edinburgh Fella. Three blows the whistle back underway we go. Sabercats will keep possession. Garza. Playing it out wide again. The right wing. Cross near the box. Play the through ball out right side. Cross again. Keeper on her mark to make the save. Still one apiece once again. Keeper will let it roll to make the save. 14 minutes, 45 seconds left. 
still one goal apiece. Neither side has been able to break the deadlock just yet. As I say that, taken away, sent it forward, save made in the end. Easier shot for the keeper to make this time. Trying to send that one away. Almost goes out of play, though. Off near the right touch line. Taken away once again by the Lady Chargers. Off the right wing. Has help close to the box. Just has to beat her defender and does. It's in! It bounced in! And that is the go-ahead goal! Edinburgh fell a lead. The cross inside the box possibly got redirected. But in the end, the same spot as a PK, bottom left corner, back of the net. 13.52 remain. It's two goals to one. Edinburgh fell a lead. Back underway we go. Now there will be some urgency from Brownsville Veterans Memorial. Taken back away though. Counter attack opportunity for the Lady Sabercats. Tried to play a long through ball. Almost intercepted. Played out wide again. The 50 ball won by, well for a second by the Lady Sabercats. Back it goes. Long through ball four. Out of play goes this top. Will be a throw in for Edinburgh Villa. Down to 13 minutes to play. Taken away for a second there near the final third for the Lady Chargers. Controlled now by Edinburgh Velt. Garza. There for a second. Took a shot, kind of. I believe it was intended for a cross, but it hits the back net of where they have so it doesn't go too far into the track. I believe it ended up being deflected out for a corner. Set piece opportunity for the Lady Sabercats. If they score here, that could potentially put this game away. No one on the end of it, and that will go for a throw. Going off this right touch line for the Lady Chargers. They'll try to push quickly. Out of play again. Intercepted once again that time by Monty. Sabercats playing it back. Trying to head it forward. Right touch line. Trying to cross it inside the box. Strike blocked. Out for a corner. Another corner kick conceded. and 11 minutes left to play. Getting closer and closer to the end of this one. Time slowly ticking away. Good cross, just padded away. Shot taken, was in the back of the net. Referee had already called the play dead. 
As he didn't like what he saw in the box. I believe contact was made by the keeper. Anyway, either way, we continue play. Say that out it goes for another throw. Bridge Villa. They lead two goals to one. Take it away. Long ball forward. Keeper on her mark to make the save. 9.50 left to play. Sent back away this time. Can back away. Lady Chargers trying to move it forward. Controlled by the Lady Saber Cats. Trying to get it forward. Quickly tried, possibly get a shot off. Sit back again. Second try. Keeper able to watch it go out of play. Still a one goal game. Two to one your score. Eight minutes left to play. Plenty of time for either side to get another goal here. Breaks out, has help, and that's a foul. What does the referee do here? A foul and nothing else. Set piece opportunity, the best chance for the Lady Chargers. Bottled it for a second, save me. it forward near the right touch line. Made it out wide right, cross inside the box. Able to keep it in play, referee says. Given back away in a dangerous area now. Counterattack possibility stopped quickly. Possession back again. a shot. Keeper able to watch it and make the save. Still 2-1. Six minutes left to play. Referee still saying play on. Cross inside the box. Played it back, takes a strike, just wide. Oh, 
Charger faithful starting to try to give their team any extra moments than they possibly can. Still with it. Good through ball forward, cleared away. Five minutes left in this one. In regulation to be exact, two to one, your score. A reminder, if the Lady Chargers are able to find an equalizing goal and it were to end at two to two, we would head to two 10 minute periods of extra time. And if it's still tied up after that, it would be none other than penalty kicks. Of course, that's if it ends up being a two all. The Lady Chargers can find an equalizing goal here. On ball forward, controlled at midfield by Edinburgh Felt. Plays it out wide left. Gets it inside the box. Defended just out of the final third. Sends it over the goal. And it is a goal kick. Substitution taking place. Or that's what I th thought I saw from the sideline judge. And yes, indeed it is for Edinburgh Vela. Three minutes, 35 seconds left to play. Silver Cats with possession here, trying to get a second goal. It's in! And that will probably do it. Three to one, your score. Three twenty-six left to play here in the second half. Beautiful opportunity. And a keeper. Not able to get that one three to one. We'll go out of play. Passing the touch line. So some final scores for you all here. One of them, Lopez Lobos boys soccer defeats Sherryland Pioneer Diamondbacks with a final score of four to one to advance to the area round. Of course. One seed beating that four seed as expected. So Lopez Lobos trying to make it back to Brownsville Sports Park for the regional semifinals and finals. As all roads meet to Georgetown. 
Back to the action front, though. Long through ball. Blade Pack has an opportunity. Takes a strike. Save me. As they chant down three seconds, that will do it. Lady St. Mercats win 3-1 over. Brownsville Veterans Memorial will move on to the area round to play either possibly a Corpus Christi school or potentially a school from the La Jolla area. Of course, we'll wait and see and we'll find out all of those most likely on Wednesday. But that will do it. Three to one, your final as Edinburgh Bella win over Brownsville Veterans Memorial. What a season Brownsville Veterans Memorial had as they finished second in district. But once again, by district playoffs being a very tall task for 32 5 it. Be back for more soccer, most likely. But until then, we'll see you all later.